Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. On the technological stage of the 21st century, chips are undoubtedly the most dazzling star. They are like the heart of modern industry, providing a steady stream of power for every corner from cutting-edge technology to daily life. Whether it is satellite navigation flying in the vast universe or the indispensable smartphones in China's hands, chips play a vital role. However, behind this small heart lies the fierce competition among global technology giants. Looking back, the United States' leading position in the chip field is almost unmatched. Since the birth of transistors and integrated circuits in the 1950s, the United States has firmly grasped the core of chip technology. American companies such as Qualcomm and Intel are like fish in water in the global market, enjoying the lucrative profits brought by technological monopoly. However, this situation was quietly broken after the emergence of Huawei's Kirin chip. With its self-developed high-performance chips, Huawei has not only won wide recognition in the domestic market, but also posed a direct threat to old giants such as Qualcomm on the international stage, allowing the global chip industry to feel the strong pulse from the east. However, Huawei's rise has not received the respect and recognition it deserves, but has instead encountered unwarranted suppression and sanctions from the United States. From including Huawei in the entity list to joining forces with allies to restrict the export of semiconductor materials and equipment, the United States' various measures are undoubtedly a blatant challenge to global trade rules and the spirit of scientific and technological cooperation. But it is precisely such adversity that has inspired the determination and courage of Chinese technology companies to be self-reliant. And the domestic chip industry has ushered in unprecedented development opportunities in the wind and rain. Faced with the technological gap, Chinese scientists chose to catch up firmly. In 2023, the Nature Index list released by Nature magazine showed that China's research contribution in the field of biological sciences surpassed the United States for the first time and ranked first. Although Harvard University still dominates the field of aging medicine, the tenacious efforts and cluster advantages of Chinese scientists make it possible to surpass it in the next 20 years. Huawei and Chinese scientists have demonstrated an indomitable spirit. In the face of Western blockades and challenges, they have continuously broken through technical bottlenecks through independent innovation and achieved a gorgeous turn from catching up to running side by side and even leading in some fields. This spirit of self-improvement is the key to the rise of China's scientific and technological power. In the future, with China's continued investment and innovation in science and technology, China has reason to believe that China will achieve breakthroughs in more fields and make greater contributions to human scientific and technological progress. The story of Huawei and Chinese scientists will inspire more companies and individuals to continue to pursue excellence and climb the peak of science and technology. In the complex process of chip manufacturing, the lithography machine is undoubtedly one of the most critical equipment and is known as the crown jewel. 
It uses the magical principle of photochemical reaction to accurately transfer the design circuit pattern to the silicon wafer, which is an indispensable part of the chip manufacturing process. However, the research and development and production threshold of lithography machines is extremely high. There are very few companies in the world that can master this technology. ASML in the Netherlands is one of the best. Faced with US sanctions and blockades, the Chinese chip industry did not choose to succumb, but instead turned its attention to the independent research and development and introduction of core equipment such as lithography machines. According to the latest data, China imported 32 lithography machines in the first two months of this year alone, showing an urgent need and firm determination for high-end chip manufacturing equipment. And ASML's financial report once again proved the important position of the Chinese market in the global chip industry chain. Its revenue and lithography machine sales have achieved significant growth, among which the contribution from the Chinese market is particularly prominent. Faced with the rapid rise of China's chip industry and the ever-changing market of lithography machines, American companies that once dominated the market have undoubtedly felt unprecedented pressure and challenges. The huge potential and rapid growth of the Chinese market provide a broad space for the development of domestic chips. At the same time, the continuous investment of Chinese companies in technology research and development and industrial chain integration has also gradually weakened the advantages of American companies in technology and market. Looking to the future, China should keep a clear mind and an open mind. China should continue to increase its investment and support in the field of chip research and development to promote the development of the domestic chip industry to a higher quality. At the same time, it should also actively seek cooperation and win-win opportunities with international partners to jointly promote the healthy development of the global chip industry. In today's increasingly globalized world, only by strengthening cooperation, sharing resources and jointly innovating can we cope with increasingly complex scientific and technological challenges and changes in market demand. Let China work together to create a better future and jointly write a new chapter in the global chip industry.